channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I'm Wolfgang. So in the following guided meditation uh, we will find out how you're being affected by all types of electromagnetic and other pulsed force fields. Then have their origin in technology. It will be a subjective experience but it may give you a new perspective of your invisible but daily life environment. And as you know, knowledge is power. Also, an important part of this guided meditation, clearing the toxic electromagnetic soup, will be a clearing through intent, as well as the invocation of countermeasures that will be provided by divine nerven forces. They have to be given permission to help after all, whether these are spirit beings or your so-called space brothers of love and light, you know, these would be included there. We will also see if a certain crystals, gems, you know, or other devices have a certain effect on you. Um, by more means do I promise you that all types of pulse radiation will be shielded off you uh, by 100%, but you most likely will feel lighter or better after the guided meditation, just judge for yourself. So, like so many of you, I'm sensitive to energy. I can feel people's force fields uh, with my hands and also with my body, but I also, you know, feel the force field coming from my kindle. You know, there's kind of a stabby thingy coming out here, uh, so which cuts unpleasantly into my auric field. I also could feel the electric magnetic field of my X wireless mouse and keyboard. I say X because I'm going hardwired nowadays. Um, when I use these, um, uh, these <coughs> um, wireless um, mice, um, I got infections around my fingernails. You know, work more than 10 hours a day, you know, with a computer. Um, I also, you know, just as an example, felt very nauseated around uh, transformer, you know, that checks up like a 12 volt solar system uh, to a 120 volt system. And in case you carry a cell phone around with you and want to have healthy descendants, you might also um, do a quick YouTube search on cell phone radiation affecting fetal development. So one hour of investigation may save you a lifetime worth of guilt and regret. And if you think that the militaries of the world have not developed methods to affect the weather, earthquakes, or do synthetic mind control, you are really underestimating their paranoia, their intelligence, and technical abilities. I mean, I would fire any general that, you know, has no knowledge about this and does not investigate this person. You know, of course, from a purely military point of view, <laughs> which is the lower mind. <coughs> so my point here is not a fear-mongering or whistleblowing on secret underground programs. And of course they exist. You know, the military, they're not choir boys. <laughs> it's their duty, you know, to be nasty. Just like tricky Japanese here, you know, eye stabbing, you know, groin and toe crunching. You know, street fighting is never fair. Well, it gets the job done. So my point again is, you know, that the modern technology has as many negative side effects on the astral plane as junk food has on your waistline and glycemic index. And, you know, I mean, we are stuck with technology that has lots of negative side effects for the moment, you know, for the moment. And also, you know, going back onto the trees or living off the grid is not an option for most of us. It would also not solve all the problems. Um, 
No, there are certain frequency grids that affect you wherever you are above ground. And there are also certain methods to counteract all kinds of tech radiation side effects. The aluminum foil hat being the funniest. But uh, then, you know, who can live in a Faraday cage, you know, or carry a backpack full of gadgets, or wear copper-infused fabric underwear. Uh, but maybe breathwork will help you overcome any side effects. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I have lots of cool gadgets. But in this guided meditation, we will find just um, to use intent, and, you know, the one size fits all two, you know, of the modern mystic. So, we also will ask if certain gadgets may be helpful to you. And um, have your high self, you know, rate them. So, for instance, we could ask, you know, do like angelic tuning forks, you know, um, from 1 to 10. You know, how are they, you know, affecting, you know, your force field. And, of course, intent is cheap. It does not take storage space. That does not make you fat. So I like intent. And uh, one of the most effective ways to use intent is that of a contractor. You know, you do not do the work yourself. Um, some of the work you better do yourself you know, as a mature spiritual person, like maybe forming protective bubbles around you, you know, or do breath work and prayer and keep a certain spiritual hygiene. I mean, you brush your teeth every day too, right? And imagine what happens if you don't brush your teeth for three days. Well, imagine what happens if you don't do spiritual hygiene for three days. So, but, you know, back to the contractor idea, you know, so you ask the experts in their field to do the job for you. You know, in our case, we give the divine beings of love and light permission to assist us or to rectify certain imbalances. For instance, I work a lot with the Arupturians, and they have, you know, healing, love, and ascension temples. I use them all the time. You know, it works great. Um, you know, all kinds of beings on very high levels, you know, they agree with me. I have not any problems. So, you know, there um, are divine beings that are helping out. I'm not doing all the detail work here for Norway. <laughs> So, then you know, how do they do their job, you know, um, is their thing. But if you, you know, pay close attention, you can actually feel, you know, how energies are shifting on the last level within five to ten seconds after you know, proclaiming an intent. And, um, you don't have to repeat my intent, just align with it. This means when I say Amen, you know, nod your head or say Amen. Or I would say, I would think Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, interrupt your breath work for speaking and don't interrupt your smiling for speaking. You know, you speak in your head is telepathic. Mm -hmm. It's on the astral plane, it's all telepathic. Mm -hmm. Just use your mouth for smiling and your breath for breathing. The stronger you breathe, you know, the more chi you have, the stronger the experience. The more you smile, the more love you have. That's how that works. And of course, I mean, you cannot expect that everything can or will be transmuted by spirit. I mean, you have your own responsibility. I mean, if you can feel that your smartphone gives you a headache, you know, either hold it further away um, or, um, you know, on speakerphone or get hardwired earbuds. You know, I mean, do not ask the Pleiadians to do some tech wizardry, you know, to counteract your cell phone just because you're lazy. <laughs> uh, but if you ask that certain nefarious tech frequency overlays, you know, be counteracted, you know, something that is completely outside, you know, your sphere of influence, well, they may do this for you, you know, especially if enough people ask for it, you know, the will of the people. Um, then they may have permission to intervene. Again, just like in Star Trek, you know, no interference. Mm -hmm. Also, most of this uh, guided meditation is to open your eyes 
you know, um, to how certain things in your environment affect you. You know, things we didn't even know that there existed. I mean, all the effects that you, you didn't know there existed. So the question in the end of the guided meditation also will be seem to be going over the deep end. But then in this guided meditation, our mind goes where a few minds have gone before. And remember, no driving. You know, if you're listening to a podcast, I mean, do not drive. This is designed to space you out. Very, very dangerous. Um, there is a question also of sitting and laying down for the meditation. Um, personally, I think if you sit like on an office chair, you know, with a really nice back support, and feet on the ground, hands you know, in the lap, that's certainly very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And um, you can do much better a breathing, like connecting with the earth, connecting with the heaven, heaven energy, than when you're laying down. If you have heavier, stronger breath work, then most likely you will not fall asleep. Whereas when you lay down, um, most likely or often you will fall asleep. Um, maybe also your breath work is not going to be this strong. But, you know, you're falling asleep. And falling asleep to a meditation like this is better not having a meditation at all. You know, and again, you're falling asleep. A lot of people have a hard time falling asleep. You know, this is one way you know, that has no dark side effects. Mm -hmm. So um, now, um, close your eyes. Make yourself comfortable. And we ask the Absolute Source to make sure that everything that happens in and from this meditation here is going to be for the highest good, in divine harmony, with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. We also ask now that we be surrounded as well as all the parallel timelines that we're having now. You know, maybe where we married soon, or left Bobby, or, you know, decided to do drugs, or, you know, became an entrepreneur, all those different choices, parallel timelines. And they're like fiber optics, you know, parallel going through time. But they all be now surrounded by the love and light of source on all levels of their being. If it's for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes, Amen. And when you invoke parallel timelines, it will take about 10 seconds for it to kick in. So right now you're feeling for this timeline. And this is for the parallel timelines. When we asked Absolute Source and our Spirit Guides you know, to help us clear any damage and trauma and karma and karma from the influence of toxic magnetic electromagnetic pulsation, the toxic electromagnetic soup that was put into us and our ancestors in this and past as well as parallel incarnation and timelines. We also want to liberate any bound or stuck soul fragments that got stuck due to the influences of this toxic electromagnetic soup frequency grid, like frequency screens. You know, and we want to have these aspects of our soul integrated back to our soul and take our energy and power back that was wrongfully taken from us with the help, you know, of toxic electromagnetic technologies. You know, we want our power back. And of course, we, we took it from others, you know, in an illegit way. We want to have this return to them too. And we also like to be connected back to our inner knowing and opulence instead of just looking outside of us for guidance and powers. You know, we want to be connected 
be the aspects in us that are whole and full of love, integrated with souls. But in case we and our ancestors are negatively affected or affected other beings negatively, you know, with electromagnetic pulse frequency, and we are not in alignment with divine law, you know, we ask for forgiveness and their liberation with the same grace and mercy that is also extended to me and my ancestors and parallel timelines and of course also to their victims. You know, that is important. Amen. And we ask the source and the beings of love and light to protect us, you know, from the service to self-being. From their scrutiny, their manipulation, their attacks and revenge in this and parallel timelines. Um, you better agree with us. Also, we ask that any star connection um, be uh, cleared, you know, whether it's your soul star as well as your earth star, or foot and chakra systems, you know, from parasites, distortion, darkness, blocks, and you know, technologies, pulse technologies. Now, and just smile, smile, smile. The more you smile, the more transparent to love. And now, imagine that you're pulling love from the earth into your heart. Deep breathing, then send it deep into the earth, smiling like an idiot. You know, no tough face, you know, towards Mother Gaia. And it's laughable, right? So smile like a baby that just pulled her love into yourself. Just feel it come into you. Send it back. And so you clear your grounding cords. You breathe through your feet and you breathe through your root chakra. And we ask our spirit guides, our high self to clear, clear any resistances in the grounding. Deep breathing all the way in, all the way out. And now imagine that you Milky Way Galaxy is about six feet above your head and from the center of Milky Way Galaxy, which is a godlike being for us from our perspective, just pull in love and light into your heart, into your whole body, and then send your love back. So be really greedy here. And send your love back. And use your breath, your strong breath, like a leaf blower. Some of you may even go push through. Mm -hmm. And so soon you're going to have a buzz above the head. You know, we are looking for the eternal buzz, of course. Mm -hmm. Smile, 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 smile. You know, again, no toughest towards the higher dimensions. It cuts you off love. Mm -hmm. When you smile, you're in your higher mind. When you frown, you're in your lower mind. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we like to have any resistances also cleared between us and the heaven energies, you know, wherever there is sabotage, especially from technologies. Let's clear this now. Um, um, um. And now start pulling the love from heaven and earth into your heart simultaneously. So you pull it from here and here simultaneously into your heart and then just let it linger on the exhale. You just really focus on the inhale, pull it in, let it linger. So you get a stash of love around your heart. And you ask the spirit guides, please impress us. Yeah. And you ask that all the parallel timelines of us also be benefiting from this, that the same thing will be done for them, of course only for the highest good and divine harmony. We don't want that crumb chakra to open. 
when they go and hundred miles an hour on the highway, you know that we're not very free command, right? So now um, you have a lot of love in your heart, your vibration should be high, you know, especially when you're smiling. And now we ask your high self, it means your higher aspect of your soul, the communication aspect, so to say, to step in front of you in whatever form is most relevant to you. This could be male, female, this could be radiance. Most of you will just feel a presence of love to come in, so we ask you to step now. Forward, Amen. And you probably start feeling a presence within five seconds, maybe a little pressure on the heart. So smile, 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 smile. You don't want to scare your eyes out. And now um, take a lot of love from heaven and earth and send it to this high self, this heart, or into the center of it. And see, you know, if it likes it. If it squirms and doesn't like it, you know, it's not your high self and it's not of the light, so we ask it to please leave now. Um, and then we invoke our high self. Our real high self, you know, so do this. You know, till there is kind of a loving echo coming back from the eyes. You know, then this is the way that you know it's the real thing. Hmm? Yes, we ask the angels, you know, of love and light and our spirit guides and our high self to please, you know, have any resistances between you and your high self cleared. Um, most likely tech, but then also trauma, karma vows and curses from others. Please have this cleared now as much as possible. Um, uh, um. And so now um, let's just try to communicate with your high self. And let's have a, you know, rating system. So a 10 here at this time right now uh, would be giving your cancer in let's say 10 years <laughs> and zero would be completely harmless mm -hmm. so um, let's just ask you know as a test for you so um, ask you know how harmful you know on the scale from one to ten is it for you to smoke a pack of cigarettes each day ask now Amen. And if you don't doubt what you got, you know what popped in when your mind, and there's nothing really that important right now. I mean, you know, of course, smoking is bad. Yeah. Um, let's, you know, ask again. So, how much from one to ten, you know, damage is it for you smoking a pack to in your day in ten years? All right. So let's have a quick other test. Mm -hmm. So let's ask. How about three cans of your favorite diet soda you know, in a day? And what is the effect in a year on you from one to ten? And what is the effect on you in one in ten years from one to ten? And, you know, not everybody's going to get impressions. So if you're not getting any impressions, you know, you might just want to use a pendulum doing the guided meditation. And if you don't know how to use a pendulum, I have a video on it. Just um, search my channel, you know, with the word pendulum and you get it right away. And now smile and Pull the love from the heart of your high self into your heart and on the exhale send your love to the high self. You know, it's pleasurable giving and it's pleasurable receiving love. Put both ways. Keep on smiling so you have the love vibration in there. You know, with frowning there is no love vibration guaranteed. So let's ask. You know, if um, you are, if you have any heating blanket, 
an ore in the heated car seat. You know, how negatively is this from you? From 1 to 10. And, of course, you know, fluorescent light. Um, some people, you know, do not tolerate it. It's probably not going to give you a cancer. But ask, you know, how does it influence you on a scale from 1 to 10? How about normal LED lights from 1 to 10, please? How about smart LED lights? You know, that can be operated by phone, that have maybe RGB colors. Mm -hmm. From 1 to 10, they're damaged. And where you are working, there may be some other light sources, like carbon arcs or certain vapor lights of certain frequencies. Um, how is their effect on you from 1 to 10? And nowadays we have all kinds of smart appliances that you can talk to. And they, of course, also send uh, signals out. Mm. So, let's see how you affect it in any way or negatively by smart appliances from 1 to 10. The smart appliances is probably not a problem for most of you. But, many of you, you know, are in close proximity to electric motors. You know, forklifts, saws, you know, and other machinery. Um, whatever you're closest to us, you know, how does it affect you on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst. How about transformers? Again, you know, many of us sit next to huge transformers, or even medium-sized transformers. So how does it affect you from 1 to 10? Now ask, how about electronics? You know, the, the computers, stereo systems, the monitors. I mean, I'm surrounded by <laughs> electronics. Now ask about electronics cars. I mean, there you sit next to batteries, transformers, electro car, electromagnetic motors, and all kinds of electronics. It's probably a soup of electromagnetic frequencies. How does it affect you from 1 to 10? And ask how about your cell phones G G G G G G four. Now does that affect you? One to ten and ask for ten years, huh? And I'm ask about stickers. You know they have this kind of um, stickers. Um, some of them are like gold chips, and um, others have fungite in them. Asked if you get any of the stickers, um, would, how much would that be in 10 years, from 1 to 10? And let's ask, you know, then we have the cell phone G, 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 5. Yeah, you know how um, does that affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? Let's, you know, transpose this to 10 years. And then how about if you apply some of those fancy stickers from 1 to 10 in 10 years?
and many of us, you know, they have a laptop and, you know, many guys, they're cooking their testicles, you know, and then maybe wondering why their sperm come, you know, has taken a dive. Mm. So, um, ask, you know, how much, you know, this, uh, your laptop affecting you on a scale from 1 to 10, transposed to 10 years. How about if you put stickers on it? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, you know, Wi-Fi is nowadays everywhere. And some of us, you know, sleep very close, you know, next to it. I mean, the Wi-Fi goes through walls. Now, first of all, um, how does it affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? And there are particular stickers made for this, you know, shop for yourself. I'm not selling anything here. How would that affect you know, on a scale from 1 to 10? And then, of course, you know, there is also Bluetooth, you know, speakers, a lot of stuff, you know, goes over Bluetooth, you know, earbuds headphones how are you gonna how are you being affected on a scale from 1 to 10 how about microwave radiation and let's just call this nuked water mm -hmm. I mean the water is affected, you know, and you eat the water, you know, the water and the food is affected and you eat the water, so you take a nuked water. So, you know, how much the, your use of microwave, you know, that you do, you know, is, is rated on a scale of 1 to 10 by your high cell. And a few of you, you know, they have to um, work with microwave radiation for communications, like live TV broadcast. You know, I had to do this as a cameraman when I was working for Channel 4 News as a cameraman. And also, you know, military. Um, I can tell you, when you set up those microwave transmitters, <laughs> you could feel it in your hand. It was painful in my hand. So, you know, I just did this as fast as I could. So, and how much is um, you know, this microwave radiation from communication devices affecting you on 1 to 10? And then, of course, there are also other types of you know, microwave radiation. Some of them are for nefarious types, you know, and some of them may be leaking microwave ovens or whatever. <laughs> Just ask, you know, how you're affected by general microwave radiation in a scale from 1 to 10. And I told you before, you know, that this wireless keyboards, you know, affected my fingers, so I got, you know, abscesses, infections, you know, around my fingernails. So, and how much does, you know, the radiation from, like, game controllers, keyboards, and your mouse, you know, affect your health or your spirituality, they affect you in a rate from 1 to 10? Now, there are people that are claiming that um, with the computer, you know, carrier waves can be piggybacked you know, that are there to influence you. I talked to engineers, you know, that were applying for patents for this. I mean, this is an old idea, you know, nothing really new, and I'm very sure, you know, this technology exists. I don't want to explain this, you know, in detail here. But um, let's say uh, there's some information piggybacked on your computer carrier waves, yes or no. Mm -hmm. 
And how much does it affect you in the scale from 1 to 10? And we just asked the angels of love and light and our you know, space brothers of love and light to please you know, put blocks and uh, to bless our computers so no more you know, darkness can come to those carrier waves. Mm -hmm. Now also ask, um, are you affected through carrier waves that coming onto you from your TV? Yes or no? Again, we ask that these please be blocked by space brothers and higher dimensionals for our highest good. Amen. Right here. Mm -hmm. And for the gamers, <laughs> are you affected by carrier waves? And how much is it from a, on a scale from 1 to 10? And, well, let's have them blessed as good as possible, you know, your game controllers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how much they're cooperating with you when you have shoot em up games. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, there are certain dark entities that can, you know, travel over the electric magnetic lines. Mm -hmm. And... So let's ask, you know, first of all, are you affected by beings like this? Yes or no? And if yes, we ask, you know, that these computers and whatever carrier waves be blessed, that seals be put on there, you know, of love and light, so they do not have access to your energies anymore. Amen, amen, amen. Now, I was that, you know, are there filters, you know, that affect, you know, your connection to the earth energy? They're kind of clogging up your energetic sewer lines. Mm -hmm. So are there, you know, um, radiation going out that are designed to do so? Yes or no? And how much does it affect your well-being on a scale from 1 to 10? and being the worst. Is the good stuff filtered out from the sunlight where you are, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Well, you can ask also, is it done through chemtrails, yes or no? Now, how is badly is this filtration of the sunlight affecting you on a scale from 1 to 10? And so, you know, when you inhale chemtrails or just ingest it with the food, there is a lot of aluminum in there, you know, and so aluminum is very reflective to radar and all kinds of things. You know, so imagine you having aluminum dust nowadays everywhere, even in your body, and it reflects radar and can also be pulsed very nicely. And of course, it reflects other things too. So some more electronic eyes, you know, that you know look onto the electromagnetic spectrum, can kind of find you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, pretty high resolution stuff. And of course, and then this can be manipulated. So, the question is Are you affected by chemtrail inhalants being pulsed? Yes or no? And how badly does it affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? Now, you may have heard about psionic machines. You know, these are machines that broadcast certain frequencies in the ethers on you, They're also called black boxes. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is a whole slew of technology. 
So let's ask, are you negatively affected by psionic machines? Yes or no? Maybe some few of you are. And then on a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it? Do you get near more and more into the deep end? So are there any transmission coming from implants in your body, receiving or sending, that are affecting you? Yes or no? And how badly is it on a scale from 1 to 10? And are these implants approved by your high self? Yes or no? And is your behavior manipulated by transmissions? You know, and that trigger responses in you, yes or no? And of course, I mean, for instance, if you watch an action scene on TV, you know, it will get your adrenaline. But then there are maybe other hidden mechanisms, you know, besides the film music that are programming you against your highest good. No, I'm not talking about colors, you know, that is the normal artistic realm that most people know about. So, is your health being manipulated through like piggyback transmissions, yes or no? Are your emotions manipulated by piggyback transmissions, yes or no? And how bad, you know, from 1 to 10. And is your thinking manipulated by transmissions? Yes or no? And on a scale from 1 to 10. Then is your spirituality manipulated? by electromagnetic transmissions, yes or no. And on a scale from 1 to 10, and how does that affect or damage your grounding? On a scale from 1 to 10, In which chakra are mostly affected? You know, what is the most affected chakra, you know, from these manipulations? And how are your energy levels affected from 1 to 10? Is there any energy stealing or harvesting through your electronics or electric grid going on? You may not understand how this is possible, but just ask. You know? It's like maybe, you know, what we consider, you know, of course, like a farmer stealing milk from cows. Mm -hmm. So, it's again, is there any energy stealing or harvesting through your electric grid going on? Yes or no? How badly is it affecting you on a scale from 1 to 10? And most of you probably have heard about HARP. You know, it's used for weather manipulation. You start pulsing and put energy into the ionosphere. And of course, these type of technologies will, you know, have an effect and it can be used to also manipulate the human psyche in certain ways. Now here we go into the deep end. <clears throat> so are you being affected negatively by harp? Yes or no? And on a scale from 1 to 10, how bad is it?
and now we're really going down the deep end. So are there any hostile frequency grids originating from inner Earth? Yes or no? And how bad from 1 to 10? Are there any hostile frequency grids emanating from secret underground facilities? Yes or no? And how damaging is it to you on a scale from 1 to 10? Are there any hostile frequency grids you are originating on the Earth's surface, you know, affecting you, yes or no? And how bad is it from a scale of 1 to 10? Are there any hostile frequency grids originating from satellites affecting you, yes or no? And how bad is it affecting you on a scale from 1 to 10? Are there any hostile frequency grids originating from moon that are affecting you, yes or no? And how bad is it on a scale from 1 to 10? Are there any hostile frequency grids originating from Mars affecting you, yes or no? And how bad is it on a scale from 1 to 10? How about, is there any hostile frequency grid originating from Saturn, yes or no? And how badly does it affect you on the scale from 1 to 10? Is your Earth star chakra influenced negatively by um, hostile electromagnetic frequency, frequency grids, yes or no? And how bad is it affecting you from 1 to 10? And is there any contamination of your soul star affecting you? Yes or no? The scale from 1 to 10, how bad? So now you got a little bit of an overview you know, and hopefully there wasn't too much from the deep end affecting you. Some of you may, you know, some few of you. Mm -hmm. So now let's just, you know, find out how best to counteract and then later on we will do, you know, some of the counteracting through intent as I promised. So here our rating system is, you know, a counter action, you know, one is like, ah, nothing really happening, and ten is like the best. Mm -hmm. So, um, first of all, you know, we may know that, um, you know, unnatural fiber like nylon products like this are not really very compatible with the human force field. Mm -hmm. So let's see uh, if you only you know, wear natural fiber, you know, how good is that for you? On the scale from 1 to 10. Now, um, how do certain foods like miso or wheatgrass shots, you know, um, affect the damage of these electromagnetic frequencies from 1 to 10? So how about being more outdoors, you know, just being in the forest, you know, or out in nature? Mm -hmm. How would that affect you from 1 to 10? 
And this is, of course, you know, very personal for you and your circumstances. You know, not, uh, yeah, everybody knows, you know, outdoor is good for you, you know, but, you know, for you personally. And how about more sunlight? You know, if you being like 15 minutes out in the sun, how would that affect your vitality from 1 to 10? How about, you know, going more to the gym? How would that affect you from 1 to 10? How about you doing more yoga on a scale from 1 to 10? And how about, you know, fun dancing? Like in a child, just, you know, letting it rip. You're not saying in a disco, you know, showing off, everybody is jealous and judging you. You know, that's maybe detrimental. But, you know, just um, dancing privately, you know, about the fun of it. How would that affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? How about more breath work? Yeah. <laughs> How would that affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? How about, you know, proper grounding every day? How would that affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? Yeah, how about, you know, more positive visualization, like surrounding yourself with light, you know, pyramids, divine structures, like the Merkaba. How would that affect you, protect you on a scale from 1 to 10? So I noticed, you know, when you smile, the negative thought forms don't get to you you stay in your higher mind so just by simply smiling you know how much will this benefit you from a scale from 1 to 10 now how about some decent prayer you know an intent for protection let's say it in the morning and in the evening uh, let's do one at noon you know so three ones on a scale from 1 to 10 How about spell work? You know, just the strong intent. Hmm? How about going hardwired? You know, where you can, you know, get the Bluetooth wireless earbuds and headphones. You know, get some hardwired ones. And believe me, you know, um, I like audio file music and you know, this, this whole compression for Bluetooth, you lose so much detail and quality. You know, any engineer, you know, knows that you lose something when you compress and expand and transmit. You know? So, uh, I definitely advise to go hardwired. <laughs> so, how much would it improve you to go hardwired on a scale from 1 to 10? Now, how about wearing certain jewelry, you know, like crystals, diamonds, you know, rose? Would that be beneficial for you on a scale from 1 to 10? Now, of course, you can also pack, you know, crystals and other things. Let's just go through some favorites. How about smoky quartz on the scale from 1 to 10? And don't go off if you ever buy smoky cards. You know, don't get that jet really black stuff. That is being done artificial with an X-ray tube. You know, I mean, um, normal smokies, um, they have a haze of darkness. You know, they're not jet black. You know, there is earth radiation that creates this. You know, in Arkansas, in the big mines, you know, there's a certain X-ray tube and just blast those things. 
How about Shungite? Scale up from 1 to 10. How about Shungite stickers? You know, on your electronics. On scale from 1 to 10. How about stickers designed, you know, to protect against radiation? Like on your cell phone, how would that affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? How about stickers on your laptop computer? 1 to 10. How about wearing magnetite? You know, especially around the feet. You could even stuff it into your socks. Probably keep you nicely grounded. And then how about diamonds? The big high vibration amplifiers. On a scale from 1 to 10, and many people have them. Again, on a scale from 1 to 10. How about wearing divine symbols like Om, the cross, or, you know, proper pentagram on 1 to 10. How about sleeping over a platonic solid symbol? that's freely available at my website just to, you know look and uh, show more and of course this is where you sleep now so how does it affect you on a scale from 1 to 10 your high self knows you know what this platonic solid is and how it's gonna affect you now. And again, um, there's another method, a ring of salt around your bed. And you can get a whole bag of salt pretty cheap, you know, 20 bucks, you know, for against ice, you know, icing off the street. So having a ring of salt around your bed, you now does it affect you in a positive way from 1 to 10? And um, how about um, using things like angelic uh, tuning forks, or something like this. Three times a day, you know, from 1 to 10, how positive is it for you? And then there's a whole slew of paraphernalia and that is used you know to get you grounded you know there are grounding mats there are grounding shoes there are grounding clothing mm -hmm. and how would that affect you maybe if you're very sensitive this is important for you so on a one to ten how much would you benefit Now I also have t-shirts, you know, for myself, you know, where on the heart chakra there are divine symbols, like for instance the Sri Yantra, how much would that protect you on a scale from 1 to 10? And then of course there is the flower of life, how would that protect you on a scale from 1 to 10? And again, you know, the platonic solid symbol on a scale from 1 to 10. Do you see that spot there? Yeah, I use these things all the time. I print them out and I put my coffee on it and I, I sit on it. I have, I have my feet on it right now. It's good stuff. Mm. How about uh, metal infused clothing you know, on a scale from 1 to 10? And I have to say, in certain circumstances, that may be worthwhile the investment. <laughs> you know, if you're in a really toxic environment and you need the job, you know, you might have to go quite extreme. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, these, um, let's say, copper-infused clothing, um, they have probably a very good effect. I mean, I like copper, you know, on myself. Um, you know, I work with weights and... You know, if I don't wear them after two days, you know, my wrists are sore. 
hopefully this stuff works. Um, how about um, casting divine symbols onto the wall? You know, with chi and, and a magic wand. Where you, uh, let's say, put a pentagram, you know, onto the wall projecting. You know, or there are other ways, you know, where you can bless the wall, but you, you know, purposefully, you know, project your chi, you know, in, in a divine geometry. Mm -hmm. How much, you know, would that benefit you on a scale from 1 to 10? And, you know, I developed a much easier method, you know, than that is like painting the walls with love and of course the floor and the ceiling too. You know, basically you pull in love and light from source, you know, or heaven and earth or from source, from the inner dimensions and yeah, paint the walls, squirting it out, you know. And I call this painting the walls with love and light. And this is very beneficial, you know, for all kinds of things. So how would that affect you on a scale from 1 to 10? Okay, how about like a mandala? You know, I have something like a mandala, you know, behind me. Uh, they are focus energy very nicely and create wonderful energies also their colors So having a mandala, you know above your bed. How would that affect you from 1 to 10 and benefit? And again in some extreme cases, you know, or also for aesthetic reasons <laughs> If you can afford it, you know, how about gold leafing? you know, a wall or your walls. Like for instance, I got a radio tower, you know, a couple, well, half a mile down the road. This may not be such a bad idea. I mean, I have other methods, but yeah. um, how about gold leaf from one to 10? And in some extreme cases, you know, how about the Faraday cage that you put over your bed? I mean, chicken wire will be fine, you know, it's not that expensive, you know, it, it is for extreme cases. How would, how would you be benefiting on a scale from 1 to 10? Now a lot easier, you know, there are ways where you um, Let's say you use copper wire, insulated copper wire, you know, it's an old bucket, I have so many cables. And so you can put them in a number 8 or in a loop, you know, under your bed, depending how large your bed is. Some monks used to do that, mm -hmm. to protect against telluric energies, ley lines, right? And um, but it has other good effects. Mm -hmm. So see, you know, how much would you be benefiting, you know, from putting copper wires, you know, under your bed or under your mattress on a scale from 1 to 10. And there's also, you know, ways um, that some people protect themselves traditionally, you know, against dark beings. You know, they put iron under the bed. I mean, I, <laughs> you know, so like this iron cookware that you can get, you know, or just any iron, um, it's, you know, it sucks out the cheese out of those beings, <laughs> I think. So how much would you be affected by having like, uh, let's say two, two or three frying, heavy duty frying pans under your bed, mm -hmm. on a scale from one to ten. Now there are also, you know, mats uh, that you can buy that are infused with crystals and some with amethyst and with crystals, you know, they have different chameleon probably, you know, whatever is cheap and readily available. And it's probably buzzing you up too much to sleep on, but just, you know, ask on a scale from 1 to 10 how much positive effect would it have on you. Mm -hmm. 
Now there are also, you know, devices that you plug into your um, wall outlet, you know, and they claim um, that they are neutralized, you know, a lot of these um, negative frequencies that, you know, build up in the house. You know, I also have an alarm clock, I have those devices, I'm not, you know, promoting any names. Yeah, but uh, see, you know, how much uh, would you be benefiting from one of those devices on a scale of 1 to 10. Now let's go a little bit more hardcore, you know, sleeping under a copper pyramid. I have clients that have copper pyramids, you know, with crystals and all kinds of stuff. I used to have a copper pyramid, you know, from the ceiling. <laughs> You know, copper um, enforced with uh, gold wire and crystals. <laughs> I also experimented with thread, you know, very easy, screw into the ceiling and then just, you know, thread, um, it's a shape. And so I ask, um, you know, how much would you be benefiting from that in a scale from 1 to 10? But you can also um, sleep over pyramids. So this is what I used to do. So I calculated, you know, um, how by you know using eight by ten papers, you know, how to make pyramids. So you, you know you can do a pyramid paper pyramid with two eight by tens, you know, little cardboard, little stiffer paper. And so I had like eighteen paper pyramids <laughs> under my bed. You know, three you know, sideways and then, you know, six, six rows down and, you know, there's this wonderful energy coming up. It's cool, you know, I mean, all these things that I'm talking about, you know, a lot of things, you know, I've tried out. <laughs> so just ask whether, you know, um, you would benefit from those on a scale from one to ten. And there are other things, you know, that can be done, you know, for blight magic, but let's not get into this here right now. <coughs> so, let's just, um, you know, um, start doing the clear up now. I hope, you know, you have stood all the way in, you know, you have kind of an overview of what is going on, you know, how much certain things affect you and how much not. Yeah, it's of course subjective. You know, um, you're not mortgaging the house on this or buying a car. So, but now, um, smile, 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 and nod your head, you know, while I'm saying this, you know, you're supposed to align yourself, it's your life, your intent. Now, now, we asked um, that to please bring all beings that are using pulse electromagnetic frequency and other hidden technologies to harm or enslave humanity to the highest courts of spiritual justice now. Um, and make really sure you agree with this, that you nod your head and yet you smile, so you know how your mind. Otherwise, you know, you're going to be attacked. You know, you're going to be attacked, not me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, because, you know, you, we're going for freedom now, you know. Mm -hmm. So, we asked Source, you know, we asked the Spirit Guides, uh, Ancestors of Love and Light, you know, now space brothers and sisters where we incarnated that are of the light. And so I call them, you know, expert ascension teams. We ask that they all act for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent goals. And we ask them to bring any spirits or ghosts that are discarnates, right? Or ghosts in common terms that are still trapped on the astral plane you know, through pulsed electromagnetic frequency and other technologies to the Arcturian love healing and distension tables. Amen. Make sure you agree to this. You know, so you're going to bust them out now. Mm -hmm. Just that they are, in, in these ascension temples, be reunited with lost loved ones that are also stuck on the astral plane like lost baby spirits, sweethearts, grannies, etc. Um, let me explain why. Because many discontents do not want to leave 
into the higher light, into the light without their loved ones. They are very loyal and they are looking for them and they are suffering because they do not find them. So it's very important to have them reunited with lost loved ones. And you can suddenly feel you know, how the heart chakra opens after invoking that, invoking this after about five seconds. Mm -hmm. And now, dear Ascension team, Please show them the higher as well as the hidden aspects of the incarnation. Now, what was karma, what was volunteered for, you know, to learn as a lesson, and what was sabotaged, you know, by the dark side. Um, mm -hmm. And then also please clear any misunderstandings, you know, where we blame the wrong people. You know, and clear the deep abandonment pain, you know, going all the way back to the perceived separation from source. And then also please help them with forgiveness. And once they forgive and ask for forgiveness, we also ask absolute source to please clear any pulse, electromagnetic frequencies and other entanglements that still bind them, like vows, contracts, promises, curses, candle magic, black magic, and forms of bindings, bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains, and everything else that is um, keeping them, and that was not mentioned, but you know, needs to leave our space at this time. Then we ask that their ancestors that made it into the real heavens, into the higher dimensions, to come down and escort them into the heavens. Amen. 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 And to smile and pull in as much love and light from the heavens into your heart and into the, on the earth too, and send it in front of you, and send it up actually to those beings, you know, help them to get into the heavens. Mm -hmm. They are like hot air balloons, they don't have enough life force, you know, to go up. And so the life force is, you know, your love that you're sending them. And it's like hot air carrying them up into the higher dimensions. Mm -hmm. So the more you breathe and send them love, the easier they can go. Mm -hmm. and now, while they're leaving, we also ask the name of Absolute Source to clear any karma, Entanglement, cages, pain, cords, spells, contracts, glamours, bindings, promises, deaths that we incurred and that our ancestors incurred because we were pulsed and manipulated with electromagnetic frequencies, kind of zombie, mm -hmm. controlled. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. You know, very important if you don't have any. You know, we will, but you know, you take the heat for the actions, you know, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, be at peace, divine beings, please clear any artificial manipulation and predatory magic, any technology, energies and entities that are transferring dark energies to us through pulsed electromagnetic frequencies. And also, with your grace and mercy, clear anything else that has not been mentioned, but should be removed at this time. Um, just smile and breathe a lot of love. Mm -hmm. And we keep on going, and dear source of all, and the best heavenly physicians of love and light. So please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma that is still with me from being pulsed with electromagnetic frequencies. Transmute these trauma to healing energies and wisdom and upgrade us to our most divine blueprints as much as possible now. Um, um, um. And he also asks in the name of the Absolute Source, to please liberate and to return any stone and captures parts of our soul, of our energy, of our mind, who us now. And you know, of course, in a purified way. Amen. And I will be counting to three, and then you will be fully grounded back in vacant day consciousness again. 
One, two, three. Hello back, my friends. Yeah, this was very lengthy, very deep. And um, just stay calm, you know, stay in the house for the next 15 minutes, half an hour, to let everything settle in. You may have strong shifts in consciousness. And so some of this stuff I talked about, you know, is a little on the far outside. And, you know, um, I hope you didn't reject it. I hope you considered. Then is all. Uh, if you have any questions or need help, um, let me know. Um, you know, I'm available for a session. And probably you have an idea now what I mentioned, you know, that I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that I have quite some extensive knowledge, you know, especially when you look at all the different other videos. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, you know, if you can afford it, um, you know, just um, book a session with me. Um, you know, you will progress very fastly, most likely. And otherwise, there are tons of, you know, free sessions available and just in following them through will help a lot. People that had a session with me, you know, their heart is opened and they have a good connection. They know what's going on. And when they go and do my sessions, you know, the free sessions, they have a much more benefit. So there is a, it's a good idea to have one session with me initially. Mm -hmm. So I can open this up. I can open the heart chakra. You know, I can show the ropes. It's kind of like an initiation without any promises. And, you know, from your side to me. <laughs> you know, no, no guru vows or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I recommend that you do so. Um, you know, and of course, give me a thumbs up. And um, can ask questions, give comments. You know, I really appreciate you if you share your experiences. You know, it helps other people you know, to see themselves reflected in others, you know, that they have similar experiences. And so, um, as I said, you know, um, share my videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you know, um, subscribe, you know, go to my library and see what pops up on you. You know, um, you know, have your high self show you what is good for you. And as always, you know, install your perma grin and keep tuning into your higher mind. You know, I love you. I love you. I love you. Namaste. Namaste.